Here we go. Back to the buzz on Maggie. Students, I need your complete and undivided attention. This is the last line of the play, and as your director, I can't stress enough how important it is. My kingdom. I mourn my kingdom. Oh, 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 Mr. Bookfit, I've got a fantastic idea. Oh, really? So do I. Mind if I go first? Not at all. Let her rip. My idea is that... You keep your ideas to yourself! Okay, now my turn. No! If we are to finally triumph at this year's Royal Insect Academy Drama Contest, it is my way. Or the flyway! Eugene, you're off your mark. Move it! But I really like where Eugene's standing. An inspired choice. Really? Uh, Mr. Bird, speak. Can we talk about my part? What are my character's motivation? Ho, ho. A dream. Raina, for the last time you are playing a rock. Just lie there. Now you see, Mr. Bugsbit, that's just the kind of thinking that makes us lose this contest every time. Remember our last competition? To flee or not to flee, that is the question. have dreams. Why can't a tree sing? Why can't a tree sing? I'm glad you asked. I'm so the B and O. I got a strong robot. Yeah, I'm so the B and O. Maggie dear, why are you looking at the table? After today's rehearsal, I've got to let my creativity out somehow. But dear, you're knitting spaghetti. Oh, um well, here you go, Pubert. Thanks. Do you have the Cineling Queenie? Mr. Bugsbit wants to win so badly that he's squelching our creativity. Doesn't he realize that the way to make a play great is to accept everyone's ideas? What are you talking about? He's the director. The director's like the quarterback. He's got to be completely in charge. And what do you know about it? Have you ever directed a play? No, but at least Bugsbit and I have both been in charge of stuff, which is more than anybody can say for you. Oh, yeah? So that's why I'm going to direct my own play. One where everyone's ideas count, not just the director. I think it's really great. Oh, yeah. So, you mean if I stand in a slightly different place, she won't yell at me? Eugene, in my play, you can stand wherever you want. <laughs> so boy. And a rat can have hopes and dreams. Whatever its little rock heart desires. Rock on! Maggie Pesky, I thought I kicked you out of this play. You may have kicked me out of this play, Mr. Bugsbit, but you haven't kicked me out of this competition. I'm going to be there with my own version of King Clear, and it's going to kick yours in the thorax. Who's with me? Oh, oh it's on. Now, since this is our first rehearsal, I want everyone to remember one thing. We're here to be creative and have fun. The only rule is, no rules. Eugene, where's your mark? No, I'm standing right on it, I swear. Yeah, but you don't have to, remember? Yeah! Yeah! So, I'm on a tingle. I've got an idea, but you probably wouldn't want to do it. Hey, I can't use an idea unless I hear it. Well, I know I'm the palace guard, and I'm supposed to say, hark, who goes there? But I was thinking, what if instead I say, yo, my peeps, what up? You can pop cards. Hop to it. All right. Uh, I mean, word to your mother. And I've decided my rock dreams of being a kung fu mermaid princess. And I say we make his dream come true. <laughs> Let's hear it for Maggie. This is going to be the best play ever. Woo! Yes, we have now. Think tight. I used to be a proud oak. Now I'm just a weeping willow. What is this? A little advertisement for my play. Come see the next winner of the Royal Academy Drama Contest, King Lear. Hmm. Sounds like an advertisement for my play. Keep reading. Maggie Pesky's cool version, not Mr. Bugspit's stinky version. Sorry, Mr. B, but my play's a full-on creativity explosion. Your play's so lame it couldn't even beat Miney the Pantomime Bug. Miney! Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I had to.
had no idea you were right there. Perhaps we should leave the results for the judges to decide. Perhaps, or perhaps, you should stop on by and witness my directing genius for yourself. Lead the way. Don't buzz away. The buzz on Maggie will be right back. It's Mike's Super Short Show, where we show you what's new on Disney DVD. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the big show from the Big Apple. I'm here in New York City at the premiere of the Cinderella Special Edition DVD. So let's see how Sally's doing. Hey, Sally. How's everything going? Just great. I just took out the trash, and now I'm doing your laundry. Sorry I can't be there. Well, I gotta go, okay? Bye. Wait, wait, hold on, Mike. No! Ugh. Stupid laundry. I wish I could go to the premiere. Oh! Hello! I'm your fairy god neighbor. Fairy god neighbor? Yeah, just go with it. I'm here to send you to the ball premiere. Awesome. Bibbidi bobbidi boo! Wow, oh my gosh. Hey, how'd you get here? Magic. Let's go. What's your Cinderella story? I was just some normal little kid from New Jersey. And then I just came here. The DVD comes with the Royal Life Design Studio game. So what would you design your own palace like? No, it Mine was a cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mine was like a mall with a bed. Oh. Hey guys, um, I have this glass over here. And you know, I was thinking maybe you guys should try it on. See, you're too little. Okay. It doesn't fit all the way. Does <laughs> it? <laughs> Well, the movie's about to start. Let's go see the all-new digital restoration of Cinderella. Cinderella! Cinderella! And now you know, because it's my Super Show Show. The Cinderella Special Edition DVD is available now on Disney DVD. Celebrate Phil of the Future Fan Appreciation Day with the Phil of the Future Marathon. Starting at 6, 5 Central, watch for the secret question in each episode. Then submit your answers at DisneyChannel.com slash Phil. Your email might appear live on TV. It all starts Friday at 6, 5 Central on Disney Channel. Disney Channel gives kids a chance to show their stuff. Hi, I'm Jessica, and I collect postcards. I think that it's so much fun to collect postcards because it's a great way to see different places around the world. This one over here was from when we went to the U.S. Virgin Islands. I love that trip. It's fun and it's somewhere I'd like to go back. When I find a new postcard, it's like getting a birthday present by my parents or friends. They get postcards. I like to um, see where they've been and what it's like where they go. My friend went to Utah, and I've always liked Utah, all the snow, and when the Olympics were there and Salt Lake City, so I'd like to visit there someday. My dad went um, to the Peabody Hotel in Memphis. I think it's really cool that they have ducks walking around in the hotel, so I'd like to visit that place someday. I plan to go a lot of places when I get older. I think I will keep collecting all my life. I like remembering where I've been. If you collect something you think is cool, share it with us at DisneyChannel.com slash stuff. Kids show their stuff on Disney Channel. Here we go. Back to the buzz on Maggie. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Okay, people, places. Okay, but maybe this Yeah, they probably didn't hear me. <laughs> oh, delicious. Eugene, what are you doing way back here? Go stand on your mark. Oh, but I decided this should be my new mark. Pretty cool, huh? Well, uh, Eugene, I respect your artistic vision and all, but you're not even on the stage. You said I could stand wherever I want. Yeah, I know, but... Yo, Maggie, I thought it would be cool if the guard did a hip-hop dance. What do you think? With that music, no one will hear the dialogue. Maggie, you said all ideas are accepted. I am doing my dance. Well, if Wendell gets to a lay dance, then so do I. Now, boys, boys! 
The dance yeah. is my thing. You're not doing it. Oh, and who's gonna stop me? Some hip-hop guard? Sounds great, my brother. These feet take orders from no man. <laughs> Your feet ain't so tough now, are they? <laughs> Well, Miss Pesky, bravo. Not a problem. I've got everything under control. <laughs> Just a little healthy creative debate. Perfectly normal. No! Watch it, Eugene. I know what we need. A Kung Fu Mermaid Princess referee. Well, I'm very impressed. Unfortunately, the competition is amateur drama, not amateur wrestling. I'd better go. I have an acceptance speech to write. <laughs> Maggie, are you okay? It's the rupture, Maggie, and things are going to be different. I'm not losing this competition to bug stick. Well, Maggie, I just thought... Did I tell you to speak? Did I tell you to think? No! I'm the director, and what I say goes. Now, get in your places! You said all our ideas matter. I also said that I can't use an idea I haven't heard. Okay. Well, here's my idea. I think that... <laughs> Sorry, didn't hear words. But poison! No! My kingdom! I mourn for my kingdom! Again. But this time... Try acting! And Eugene, you are three millimeters off your mark. No, I'm not. I stand corrected, Eugene. Three and a half millimeters off your mark. Move it! Maggie, what are you doing? Shipping this play up, that's what. At least now we have a chance of beating Bugs Fit. But that's not what we signed up for. We signed up to have our idea. Poison! Okay, let's have a big hand for the termites and their production of Long Day's Journey into Paneling. Yeah! Oh, one next. Now we have our play, and just barely in time for us to go out there and crush Bug Spit. You mean the way you crushed our spirit? What? What are you talking about? You got us all excited, telling us you'd use our ideas. But now you've stopped using them completely. You're even worse than Bug Spit. You got so caught up in beating him, you lost sight of why we did this in the first place. Okay, tell you what. Why don't you all agree on one idea, just one, that'll make you all feel better, and I promise to allow it, whatever it is. I don't know. No. Okay, we got it. Ready to hear our idea? Ready. Oh, may I see that first? What? So out of hand. Oh, it's all right. And I'm sorry I gave away your bike. The winner of the Royal Insect Academy Drama Contest is King Fleer, directed by Smiley the Pantomime Bug. What? Even your play was better than that, guys. Why, thank you. And I must admit that I quite respect what you were trying to do, even if you did fail abysmally. The Buzz on Maggie presents the scene from episode 118. It was cold today. Oh, cold water. It was so cold, I had to wear boots. <laughs> boots. I love that kid. The Buzz on Maggie, new episode next Saturday at 5.34.30 Central on Disney Channel.